Hello guys, and welcome back. This is the second time I've recorded this video. Uh, well, I, I'd almost finished it before, but my OBS decided to crash just before the end. And, well that messes up the entire file, so I have to re-record the entire video again. Yay! Okay, but here we have Ustin in his Object 261 on Mountain Pass. I don't know why you're doing this with your life, Ustin. I mean, it's gone pretty downhill. You're playing artillery. I suppose it's just for that dynamic gameplay that you get from artillery. You know? That's that's the only only thing I can think of. Yeah, I've, I, there's not much I can really say during this replay. And it's shit like this that just... Oh, artillery is balanced. Yeah, why is this a thing? Oh well. Let, let's let's just say the you know. I mean, I think it's 100% percent is in his positioning here. To be fair, he has he does at least know that putting your RT up in this position does at least give you like a bit of elevation. Which means that you can shoot all the way down this road as the enemy's trying to push. You could obviously shoot the bridge, uh, any enemies down here. And you can shoot this corner. At least I guess you would be able to. So, Ustin fires a blind shot there at the Indian Panzer. And he definitely didn't hit him direct, but he may have splashed him for a little bit. So, all he's going to do here is... Well, he's going to shoot. And then he's going to sit around reloading quite a long time. See, at least with Arty it gives you like enough time to sit around and think about your life while you're reloading. No? I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have even bothered. I should have just like put the replay without commentary or anything. Just, just left the replay playing and recording. It probably would have been better. But unfortunately you have to hear my irritating voice in the background the entire time during this replay. That sounds fun, doesn't it? So, so far he's one shot a grill. Uh, but now he's aiming on the corner of the IS-7. Now, the IS-7 gets tracked here, I think. Uh, but unfortunately Ustin only hits him for 358, which I, I will admit is a bit disappointing hitting the IS-7 like that. But I'm guessing he hit him in the turret. So, oh well, that IS-7 is he's lucky. Now he's reloading here and he's just going to wait for an opportunity to shoot the enemies as they push. However, nobody's really spotting this corner anymore, however this T-55A over here, I'm not quite sure what he's doing, but okay, I think he's going to spot some tanks for Ustin to shoot. Unfortunately, Ustin does not have a shot on the IS-7 anymore, however he can take out this 62A. And his allies just killed the ISU. Lol. <laughs> but now Austin's loading a nice and balanced AP shell. Uh, this is the most accurate RT at tier 10, I think. And it's got an AP shell that has 360 millimeters of penetration and 1.1k average damage. Now, if that is balance, then that's pretty cool. So, he's pretty much waiting for this IS-7 to push around the corner. Loaded if the IS-7 wants to push, then surely RNG will prevent him from getting it. Oh, he has to move forward. He's not fully aimed. He snaps it. Oh, okay. Kills the IS-7 for 1,122. And my screen's... Oh, this irritating screen. My screen just went black. Oh well. It's all, it's all good. So, Houston has farmed... I reckon about 4k at this point. However, his team is still not really confidently winning this game. It's 7 6 and it's about to be 7 7. Because unfortunately, Golden Phoenix is going to die here. As the Udes rams him. What a disappointing shot. What a disappointing shot. 
I expected more uh, from such a fine arty player such as Ustin. As you can see, uh, Ustin's platoon mate is really, really enjoying this game. Uh, I'm not really sure why he's enjoying this particular game so much, but maybe, maybe I will find out why in the future. Now Ustin is gonna aim on this object 140. Oh, this dynamic gameplay is so hard to commentate on. Oh, like what can I say? Ustin is sitting around. He is pre-aiming a corner. Now that the corner is pre-aimed, Ustin is gonna go do something. I don't know. Eat some crisps or something. And he's so busy eating crisps that he's pre aimed the corner ready for that 140. And he doesn't notice him until he's already safe. Now that is nice. So his team's losing pretty badly here. Well, not pretty badly, but I think the enemy team kind of have the advantage they have. A little bit more sort of firepower. Well, not firepower, but an FV two one five B one eight three and the Eggpanzer one hundred aren't really very good at moving around the map and being useful. However, Usten's going to aim at this. Udez, he's going to fire blind, and he's going to get a bombardier medal. Okay, that sounds balanced. What even is this? This is not World of Tanks. Ustin, you need to hashtag tank better. Okay, so Ustin currently has 6 kills and like... I don't know, how much did he hit the Udes, the Borsig for? Well, he's probably got about 5 point something K damage now. But the U100 has decided to cross the bridge. And Ustin is going to take advantage of this. And he is going to put the shot in for 725. He was preloading an AP shell there, but I think he thinks that the E100 is now low enough to finish off without the AP shell. And doesn't want to risk bouncing it. However, now the FE215B 183... Oh, not, the, not even the 183. It is now spotted. And we can see that they are flanking around the back. There's the nuts for spots on the E100, but... I'm not sure he's going to get them anytime soon. Actually, the 269 may be able to spot as he crosses, I'm not sure. So, gameplay is too dynamic. I just wish all my games were as exciting as this one. I suppose this is the point where I should be like, if you want to watch Ustin play more, go go watch his Twitch channel. Uh, I'll put it in the description. I'm hoping he doesn't spend his time just playing artillery. And while the E100 got spotted. Oh, and he only hits him for 220. That is terrible. Yeah, um, you can see now that Ustin is actually moving a reasonable distance in his 261 and what he's going to do is now he gets spotted at this point and actually I think he should have died but okay he manages to get safe and he's just going to use this little ridge here uh, to keep something in between him and the the, the FP215B however this is artillery so what he'll be able to do is he'll be able to put shots over this little ridge uh, if the FP moves forward yeah the FP won't be able to see him now that is really fun for the FP pretty much he's just gonna wait here and what I was saying is on his Twitch channel I think he plays stuff that is slightly I don't know well not artillery now he's getting triggered at the Jagdpanzer because the Jagdpanzer is driving up the slope and just spotting the FV for him 
one shot from the Eggpanzer and one shot from him would easily kill the Effie. Or at least put him close. However, this Jagpanzer is not actually spotting. But now he is. Uh, there's a T32 there, and I don't see what the Jagpanzer is worried about. Oh. Okay. Well, that is. That's some good stuff. Oh, I wish. Artie. Would get a buff. However. Uh, the. Jagdpanzer E100 is now face hugging the FE. Uh, and. Well, it's not good. He's not even face hugging it now, but he's just. He's a bit close and it's making these shots difficult for Ustin. So, what Ustin's doing here is he's just going to wait for the FE to push. I don't think the FE can really do anything to the. Oh no, no, okay. Ignore what I just said. Why is the FE? Okay, the FE is going to just take a shot from the Eggplants for no reason. However, the Eggplants is now fired, so the FE is just going to push. Now, what Easton's going to do is he's just going to put in a nice and balanced AP shell. Boom. Yay, fire. Okay, so what the FE215B183 on Easton's team should be doing here is sitting in the cap. However, he doesn't seem to be particularly um, confident in his actions in the cap. I think he's worried about the art enemy artillery, but shouldn't really be a problem. Now you can see in the chat, Ustin is getting encouragement for his good game. However, Ustin is not finished here. He still has to deal with his FE 2 and 5B if the, if his team's 183 doesn't cap. So he's going to wait on this corner because the FE came out of the cap, so he thinks he might be pushing. However, what I think the FE might have done is he might have tried to climb the hill a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, the FE writes in chat, how? And then someone writes the most sarcastic comment ever. Oh, I'm waiting for it. Because I watched this free play yesterday when he sent it to me. Oh, it's not even there. Oh, yeah. This lover says, go in the circle. <laughs> oh, the one three does manage to kill the T-92. So all the FE needs to do now is just get into the cap. Ustin has managed to bait a shot from an FE2 and 5B, and now what he's going to do is he's going to drive up and he's going to make sure he hits this shot. And RT is balanced. So, Ustin in this game, uh, I should really have like actually remembered how much damage he did. One sec. Um, Ustin does... Oh, bloody hell. He does 8,523 damage, and of course he gets 8 kills, uh, which allows him to get many medals, which I'll, I'll put on the screen at the end of this game. Uh, and yeah, Ustin, please explain to me why you're playing RT. If you have any sort of problems, you can share them with me about how to get out of this situation without having to play artillery to make yourself feel better. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully, so I say hopefully you enjoyed it, but it's arty, so you're probably sitting there wishing that you weren't the enemy tanks. So yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I'm watching Houston on Twitch, otherwise he'll complain. <laughs>